Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian fishing floor boat fishing character. Today I'm over at Volkov in a very, very windy Volkov. This may be fun. Um, we're standing right on the dock, right outside of town, and trying to fish for some bleak. Right now, not a whole lot I did catch. I've only been here just long enough really to get casted out. Caught one small bleak, 25 gram, not even a marker. There's a 34 gram one. We do have small hooks on here, 20, 22, 24. And then uh, I'm using pearl barley because that's what I saw had been decent here recently. I may try other baits later. But with the wind blowing the way it is, this is going to be a fun one. Combined with it being a river and just the general flow. That was too late. Trying to decide if I wanted to cast out another rod or not. The typical, typical bleak, uh, small hooks, pearl barley instead of flies, and very, very shallow, 17 centimeters. Which I forgot to do on this rod. Knew something didn't feel right. I may make sure I'm actually using. 24 hooks. I think I'm using bigger hooks right now. Yeah, I've got a 22 on rod one, and a 20 on rod two. It is uh, early evening on New Year's Eve for me. So apologies for any explosions or anything like that in the background. They've been shooting fireworks off here for a couple of hours already, and it's not even 8 o'clock at night yet. So, and of course, they got started shooting them off in the middle of the walking of the dog, and he was not happy about that. He's actually slaying on the floor because he feels safer with his head underneath. I've got kind of a lazy boy still, lazy boy style couch where you can put your feet up and he feels comfortable underneath my legs and I'm okay with that found out he definitely knows his way home from about as far away on a dog walk as we can go because he was basically dragging me home when they started shooting fireworks off there was even a uh, cat in my front yard when we got home and he did not want anything to do with it. He just wanted to go inside where he knew it was safe. And a lot of times getting him to go inside is a bit of a struggle, so I knew he was not happy at all. And I don't blame him. There were some pretty big mortars for 6.15 in the evening. it didn't help I hadn't heard him before I started the walk so we'll see how it goes it stays calm we'll get this done if not it may be a shorter episode today but obviously this will be posted on New Year's Day for you also happy New Year to those watching so far this has been pretty good Marker bleak can be worth a decent amount. Just throw the feeder rod out with a small hook on it and see what happens.
I guess this is also technically a river, so it's probably there's definitely a current because looking at it, the wind's actually blowing from this direction. That little white dot on the compass is the direction the wind's blowing from. That's a nice bleak there. But the wind's blowing this way, but the floats are still going this way. There's got to be a current. Is just looking real quick what uh, fish are actually at Volkov to see what that could be getting. Could be mussels, could be it's a little bit early, but it could be rough. Various breams. Crayfish. It's a rough though, I'll take it. Small rough, but. Nice bleak. Do I have a 24 hook? I do, I've got two of them. And pearl barley. Stockworms. You didn't miss anything bef between episodes. All I did was log in, grab food since I was at winding and could get some free food. And then came here to Volkov and set up. Wanted some kind of chill fishing just because it may be crazy if neighborhood starts shooting stuff off again. That's a good rough. Tiny bleak. The goal is really to make silver. Depending on where we go from here, we're going to need quite a bit of silver. If we go match rods, we'll need about. 4,000 if we go. Um, fellow sticks, we'll need a little bit less. I'm leaning towards match rods, though. A little bit early. We need a little bit more levels as well, too. But we'll get that as we go. Getting two nighttime, I may switch to two bottom rods. 
just because this is going to be more of a daytime setup. Oblique. Could go over there and try for some frog, though. They have frog here. Yep. You can see the fish there biting, nibbling. That's oh, that was a good bleak, too. Damn it. So I keep looking at this one as I can see the hook, the bait. That was unfortunate. That was a good fish. At least it looked like a good fish. Other options would be tame for dace, but those are usually more of a daytime fish. Nace. Vimbo would be too big, probably, for our equipment. White eyes are rare. So. Let's go ahead and pick this rod up. Take the hook off just because I don't have too many of the smaller hooks. And a small. No, why my leader's not on there? I'm glad I saw that. Nice raw. You gotta be careful not to hit E on that sign because that's the ferry sign to go over to, that's the wrong button. Yeah, I lost the fish. When it wasn't fully tight already. I think it was already on there and then I tightened it up and then it was able to get off. But this is the ferry sign that'll take you across. I don't have the map here yet. Go fix. So Volkov's different in that there's a ferry that can take you over the island right there that has a castle on it um, there's kind of a second town there and then the island over there is whoops, that island is where the campsite is you can kind of see the lit up area from the campfire small rough
Another small row. Let's go grab the map before I forget again that I don't have it. So for Volkov, obviously New, New Year's Fair is here since it's New Year's Fair time. Workshop there. Fish market is at. Uh, right there is where you can rent a boat. The I always get these two confused. Hardware stores on that side of the building. Groceries there, up there is the tackle store, and that's the cafe on this part. And for a long time, I didn't know about this ferry. It's free, it's instant, it's not like it wastes time or anything like that. Not like you have to pay silver to use it, at least as far as I can know. I may have to test that theory. But it... So we're right here. It's this little kind of line here that takes you over here. You cannot, because I don't think you can go in the castle. I haven't tried. I see, looks like there's an open door there, but I don't think that's really the case. Another small rough. I'm actually curious now. One three three nine zero four. One three three nine zero four. So here's where we are over at the cafe or the castle area. There is a grocery store here, fish market, and then a tackle store. The tackle store here doesn't have as much as the actual tackle store over on the main island and then you can take that footbridge over to the campsite Sorry, there's a light coming in my window and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Sorry about that. I think it was just a car turning around in my driveway. I just saw some headlights come in. Or I think it was a headlight. Come in through my curtains. And I wasn't expecting anything like that. Kind of wanted to make sure it wasn't someone shining a flashlight through my windows. Although... I'm not ground level, so it would be kind of hard to do so. But there are ground level windows below where I'm at. And I have a, not really a three story, but story and a half. I've got the basement that has windows at, at the ground level, pretty much right at ground level and into the ground. And then you come up about half a staircase to my living room and kitchen. 
and then you go up another half a staircase to my bedrooms and bathrooms that type of thing and i'm sitting in the living room Dog's still a little spooked because I keep hearing a couple of fireworks. I don't blame him. And then me standing up and making him move didn't help that situation. He's curled back up underneath the footrest again. Poor puppy. I just almost had to drag him outside, but as soon as I got him outside, he was happy. Granted, he quickly took care of business and then was ready to come inside. I'm okay with that. That one might have made it on microphone. Nice rough there. Just had a couple big volleys of fireworks and the dogs freaking out. Yeah. We'll see how long I can keep this up. There are almost constant booms, and it's 8 o'clock. So we have... Three, we have four hours before New Year's, and probably five hours of fireworks, at least. And that was news my dog did not want to hear. He's staring at me like, why do you have to say that? All right, I got him to lay down on the couch. Oh. <laughs> then another fireworks went off and he hopped off. Poor dog.
small bleak. Let's go ahead and switch back over to pearl barley. Pretty soon I'll probably switch this rod back over to a float rod. It's still a little bit early for bleak. And it's not too late for rough. Dig some dock worms. I missed that one because I was digging dock worms. That's a good rough. Not quite a trophy, but close. Not even close, not even halfway. I was thinking that was at least over 100 grams. Trying to mute every time I hear fireworks just so that you all don't have to hear them too. And unfortunately, it's a fair amount. It was such a nice day out there today, I'm not entirely surprised. I actually got to take the four-legged thing for a ride in the truck earlier, and he got to put his head out the window. Which, in December, is not usual. I mean, ten days ago, it was negative five out there, for a high. Today, it's 50s, 60s. And another small rough. Poor puppy. We'll probably have to deal with leftover fireworks too tomorrow because there's a big football game in town and it's against the rival teams so folks like to explode stuff already for the football games so that ended up being the rivalry game and that probably won't help anything. Uh, 
That one's good, bleak. Switching back over to bleak, two bleak rods, one bottom rod. Just realized I forgot to take the hook off of the other bottom rod. So I want to do that here quickly. I missed both those fish. Took the hook off real quick. Just because I don't have a whole lot of extra 24s. Still a tad early for bleak, but it looks like they're already biting. at 36 fish in 32 minutes so pretty decent there come on that was a bite Sounds like one group may have actually ran out of fireworks already. You can see this one. This one looked like a good fish. It was not. And I missed the one on rod one while I was grabbing that one. Smaller up. Small bleak. The downside, the more I think about what's next, is to really be effective, we almost need at least two of the next rods. So we either need two bigger hello sticks or hello. No, oh, that was not what I thought it was. But that was a uh, bleak, and if it was a 146 grain bleak, that was a good fish. We get, you know, if we need two. Tele sticks or two match rods that doubles the price. Otherwise, we're only fishing with one thing. That's a crucian carp on a shallow float rod. There's a bleak. I think there's something on the bottom rod.
tiny rough. And I missed that one. Got too greedy because I missed the other one being late. That was a big boom. That was one of those where I took my headphones off to listen to make sure nothing went wrong. I'm sure that one came through on the mic. No way, this one's still on. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. 45 fish, 30, 38 minutes, basically. Another boom. Non marker. My eyes looked over, and because the line was a little bit further downstream than the float was, I thought it was actually underwater. But it wasn't. Basically, my eyes are darting left and right between the float from rod one over there on the left and the one I have two on the right, just looking for any signs. Ish. Ish. Nice bleak. Oh, that might have knocked my uh, US Weekly Reactor Arctic Char off the list on my spin account. I just saw Dan Terra got a US weekly or a weekly record Arctic char that was bigger than what I had. At one time I had the number two for the week. Over on my spin account. Kind of curious if I still on my Steam account have one of the top black carps for the week.
decent leak there. Missed one there. Ooh, missed that one, unfortunately. Sorry for being quiet there. Seems like the more I talk, the more the dog gets interested or agitated. And I don't want him to go too crazy right now because it's already a hard enough time for him. With all the booms. I'm going to wrap it up a little bit early with this fish. I just, I don't think it's the right time for me to be doing this right now. There's still a lot of fireworks in my neighborhood, so. 54 fish, we got 54 silver from the fish market. Uh, we're going to get some here. So 32 silver for rough and basically worthless rough there. No crayfish, no Xander, no chub, no mussels. So still an extra 32 silver on top of probably still 54 over here. Yeah, we're still over 54. So 74 silver in 45 minutes. Not too bad. I'll take it, especially with the way things were going on. So appreciate everyone watching. Happy New Year, and uh, we'll be back again tomorrow. Hopefully things will be a little bit calmer. No no explosions or anything like that going on. We uh, make up a little bit more time. But hope you all have good tight lines. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.